that's fine assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen we are very fortunate today to have sister ahma ahmed alhamdulillah i met her about 6 7 years ago at rotisserie soup kitchen and she was absolutely diamond she was always after her job you know evening she used to come and help us uh, sister emma what would you like to say about your experience to you know embracing islam um, islam is the best thing that ever happened to me so sure. um, everything any trials that happen in your life are so much easier to endure because you know that they're part of a bigger purpose and a bigger plan absolutely um, and enjoying them with patience and hopefully getting to a better place um, and I used to take so many things for granted but now I see the blessings in everything well obviously you know you can never be grateful for everything but I see so many more blessings and that just makes my life so much richer and more enjoyable um even though on paper it's probably very similar um there's a lot more good things Subhanallah are you from Rochdale or what part of Greater Manchester I know remember I speaking to you 6 7 years ago and you told me you came from a uh, nice part yeah um, but I'm from Rotherham Rotherham uh, Subhanallah near Sheffield you know <laughs> I studied in Sheffield so it's a lovely town Rotherham you know it is yeah my mom's still there yeah and uh, what was the reaction of your family you know immediate family how did they react to you converting to Islam you know from uh, you know where the world or your the beliefs were or you know what sort of uh, religion or you know you know you were practicing before this what was your family's reaction when you told them that you becoming a muslim i've been really blessed they were really really supportive um they by allow me when i go over subhanallah um, they watch the children when i need to pray yeah. i know that some reverts have um have um Tests where it comes to their family not being supportive, but I've been blessed with a very supportive family. Subhanallah. And how's the response from the Muslim community? You know, uh, how have they taken you? You know, because I know some people are a bit funny, and unfortunately, you know, I work with reverts across the UK, and you know, you people are making a massive difference to this society, and you people are like diamonds. You know, trying to take you know, Islam. You know, as a proper practicing you know because you know with those muslims you know we you know you know trapped into the cultural element of a cultural aspects of it so you know how was the muslim as in rotherham or here in rochdale with you um i think it depends where you go um i've had good experiences and bad experiences i've had some people um who have talked to me like i'm stupid <laughs> that i don't know anything and yes i would have called myself very knowledgeable i'm not a scholar or anything um but i have studied i'm not a complete idiot and um, i like to talk to like i am um and also we went through this into a lot of journey and some things you're not ready for and if someone forces something on you it can actually push you backwards and they think they're trying to do something good but it actually does more harm than good um so i was told to wear hijab before i was ready and that actually meant that i stop praying as frequently at that time and sure. be a while to build that up so you do have to be careful how you talk to people because there might be a lot of internal struggles already that you don't see um and they may already be working towards something but they're just not there yet um it's kind of like a ladder and you might be higher on the ladder but they might not be so if you want to offer them support you need to really think carefully about what level you offer that support at because you can't tell someone that they need to pray five times a day when they don't even know the prayer or to wear hijab um when you know they're just trying to work on their prayers and that's not where they're at yet so you do need to think carefully but at the same time there's some fantastic groups um once called new beginnings and once called organic soul and they've got the best network of muslims and all um, reverts and also heritage muslims are very very supportive um, and they're all striving for their deen they're not stuck in the culture so much um they have done research to try and know what it's like all about um, so i'm very blessed with them across those subhanallah that's absolutely beautiful and you know you put that really correctly i mean uh, i'm very biased towards rochdale you know i've been here last almost 40 years yeah or oh, what would you prefer um, rotherham or rochdale Well, hopefully we're actually moving to Bradford, so maybe I'm swinging towards there. 
Um, I like the nature around Rochdale, um, we're out on the edge of the Peak District, so I love all of that and it's got a lot of amenities, um, so yeah, I'd probably say Rochdale just because of the countryside, we've got better countryside. Subhanallah. And I know you've uh, been a Muslim a number of years now. Have you had a chance to visit any of the Muslim countries or any? have you been anywhere abroad? Um, I've been abroad, um, but I haven't been to Muslim countries. Um, inshallah, we're going to go and do Umrah as a family at Christmas. Subhanallah, this Christmas? Yes, yeah, so wow. inshallah, that'll be my first experience. So we have been abroad so far, but not to a Muslim country. Hey, less so we can go to Umrah together. I've not been for a few years now, you know, so that'll be amazing. And what advice would you give to people who might be considering Islam as a way of life, who might be thinking about embracing Islam, you know? Do it. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, your life um, in Israel will be so much better, so much richer, so much more purposeful. Um, I feel like I'm in Israel, a much better person. Um, and life just feels so much better because of it. So do it. Um, and there's kind of a, it's not so much a saying, but in Islam, when, when you want to do a good deed, you shouldn't delay um, because sometimes things can get in the way to stop you doing that so if you want to do it you should do it straight away to stop anything getting in the way of that so if you want to revert just do it because it's fantastic it's amazing subhanallah um, just like the way you just said just do it you know i think though you got that slogan from nike or hike or from mike listen that's absolutely amazing any final words and thank you very much for taking the pressure time and to join me this for my tiktok um, if you are considering joining Islam, um, may Allah incline your heart to do so and make the journey easy and very rewarding for you. And if you're already a Muslim, then just learn and learn and learn because the more you practice, the more beautiful your religion is and the closer to Allah you feel. And um, and if you do want to support any of you, just do it carefully because it can be very, very helpful or very damaging. Jazakallah, that was Sister Ahmed, Allah Hafiz, Jazakallah for your time.